On August 29, 1797, a small town in Scotland witnessed one of the darkest moments in its history. The Tranent Massacre saw the violent repression of local residents, who were protesting against the conscription of Scots into the British militia. The events of that day were the result of a protest against the 1797 Militia Act, which sought to conscript Scots into the British militia to control the Scottish people or deploy them elsewhere. The massacre was the result of a proclamation drawn up by local people on August 28, which outlined their objections to the conscription. The proclamation, consisting of four clauses, declared that the Scottish people disapproved of the Act of Parliament to raise 6,000 militiamen, would assist each other in repealing the Act, were peaceably disposed, and if they were forced to become soldiers, their trustworthiness would be questionable. The following day, the proclamation was handed to Major White, the commanding officer of the recruitment squad, but was initially ignored. A confrontation between the protesters, led by Joan Crookston, and the troops resulted in several protesters being shot dead. The protesters fled into the countryside, pursued by the Sinkport Light Dragoons, who are reported to have indiscriminately killed and injured many, regardless of their involvement in the protest. The massacre was made even more horrific by reports of rape and pillage carried out by the troopers in the town after the bloodshed. The overall commanding officer of the Light Dragoons, Colonel Viscount Hawkesbury, later second Earl of Liverpool and a future British Prime Minister, was not present during the massacre, and his absence was criticised for not being able to prevent the soldiers from committing such horrific acts of violence.